welcome back to Live from the Lab. All uh, right, hey, we is. You know what I'm saying? You know how we doing, man. We're going to do it how we do it every week, man. Yeah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? We got Anonymous in the building. Oh, yes, yeah. Sir. <laughs> oh, yeah. Anonymous in the building. Okay. Oh, yeah, <laughs> that is. Wild ass, man. I like that. I like that. Outside. For sure, for sure, man. We got Taz Crafted in the building. Yeah, it is right here, right here. Taz Crafted, live and direct. Infamous. You know what I'm saying? Yo. We got Tonio in the building. My man Tony in the building. Oh, Yo. Man. Say the best yeah. for last out here. You know what I'm saying? We got a special guest. Yeah, man. it is. How special? Special, special guests, man. Special guests, man. We got William Benson in like yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Like yeah. I mean? Like Billionaire's roll on. Yes, sir. Billionaire rolls on, man. I like that. Come yeah. on now. Yes, sir. Welcome, seriously. man, my brother. We appreciate you pulling up on us. First and foremost, thank y'all for having me, man. And I yeah. want to I wanna thank Yahweh for allowing me to get here safely. Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 for sure. You know what I'm saying? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Make sure we get back safely. That's how we move. Oh, here we go. Oh. That's how we start off the pod. 100%, yeah, man. man. So... We start off very week with some music, you know what I'm saying, to set the vibes, you know what I mean? So that's how we're going to do it this week. Yes, sir. DJ Double R, turn us up, man. What, what we got, man? I got something good, man. I got hey, some, good, be some good vibes. Y'all be playing some shit, too, yeah, by the way. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? We, we going, going through the crates. It. Yeah, so, it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? This one, a little throwback. I ain't even got to call this one out, man. When you hear it, you're going to know what it is. Let's man. do it. For sure. <laughs> Yeah. And I've been living fast life, but I see it in slow. Yeah, we're in the national with it, man. You see my lifestyle, I got Jesus. Let's go. See many people there outside with the feet, man. So, you know, man, go ahead and put your drink up real quick. I'm here, stand the defender like you said. Yeah. But girl say she want Netflix and chill yeah. So I chatty get even one yeah. If you fall in love, Kelly Satin yeah. You go to breakfast, I'm not capping yeah. Can you see drip all that walk at you? Yeah. Yeah. I'm not faking this, no focus yeah. 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 You see yeah. these feelings, I'm not catching I'm on a quest and feet, I just want it Ah, what's up, y'all? If I broke now my business, yes sir I'm a child, you go right Yes sir For I care for the night I find the assassin to be the reason why you're going to die. Don't ask me if you want to be the easiest live from the lab, baby. There it is, DJ Double R. Oh, you know what I'm saying? You know how I be rocking, man. Oh, man, you took us out of here with that one. You know what I'm saying? Gotta have your passport to even listen to that. That's how it is, man. So look. <laughs> We're going to start it off like this, man. I got a question for y'all, right? Uh-oh. <clears throat> Let's go. Question of the week. So, th- this the scenario, right? Uh-huh. So, say you have a kid with a woman. Okay. It's okay. a special scenario. And um, she has a kid with another man as well. Okay. Right? Starting off terrible. So, <laughs> you decide to bring your child some food. It might be McDonald's or something. You know, chicken nuggets. You know, kids love that. Right. Are you bringing the other kid food as well? Why you always Are you bringing the other kid food too? Do I fuck with this kid? <laughs> Honest question. I mean, that's, that's a, real, a part that's of a your answer. Question. That's a part of your answer. If I do fuck with the kid, yeah, I'm gonna bring the little nigga some food. <laughs> but if I don't like him. <laughs> I'm going to bring my son, Ruth Chris. <laughs> oh, man. That is, that is aggressive. They trying to up the scope on the Savage. Savage. Guys too. Savage. How y'all feeling um, about that, man? What you, what you doing? I'm not fucking with it, bro. I ain't jacking it. Yeah. I'm not yeah. jacking it. If, I, if I'm dealing with a woman that has a kid, which... Serious, like in a serious relationship, you're saying? Yeah, right. I, it would never happen. It would okay. never happen. Okay. It, but if but yeah, but to say if I'm in that position, it's all about me, my seed, and that's it. Right. Period. Gotta allocate resources out right. here, man. Period. Right. You know what I'm saying? I gotta allocate resources appropriately. Appro- you gotta here. allocate it appropriately and you can't be on no sim shit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You can't be simp. Yeah. I mean, yeah. at the yeah. end, of the, okay. Because because so. we didn't add the context. Because I don't know if the, the I don't know if the baby daddy is in jail. I don't know if the baby daddy is a lawyer. I don't know if the baby daddy is in, in the street. I don't know the situation. So, right. but if mm-hmm. but I I would in 
the personal situation, I would know it because I would be talking to the girl and she would tell me what the situation is, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you know. But typically, mm-hmm. the chick that has a kid prior to you, she's not going to get anything higher than that person. So it's a uh, interesting conversation to have. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Right, 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 yeah. right. Yeah, no, that's accurate. I mean, I'll play devil's advocate a little bit because, like, like my man Will was saying, I mean, first of all, don't get in the situation is, I think, the the direct, you know, line of thinking. But if I if I did find myself in that situation some way, somehow, I don't know how I, I took a left turn when I should have made it right, but I, I found myself in that situation. Play the fuck up. Hey, you know, things happen. But, you know, I, I do feel like if you do find yourself in that stepdad role, you, you got to bring everybody food. And, and that's one of the reasons why you don't want to find yourself in that role because, I mean, if you do, that's genuinely what is to be expected of the provider of the house. Like, if you're going to step up and step into that situation, I mean, hopefully it's a situation in which you won't have to have, you know, a, a battle with, with another another guy. Like, it, it's a it's an easier situation. But, you know, if you do, man, everybody got to get food. You got you to bring everybody food because that, that was your responsibility. That's the... That's the cross you got to bear when you, you know, made a decision to to take on that responsibility. But Taz, you said something that was key. Mm-hmm. You said, depending on the situation. Yeah. I don't know if this nigga's in jail or I don't know if he's a doctor. I mean, the doctor, yeah, yeah. if if my joint had a chick, uh, had a kid with a doctor, uh-huh. she ain't really concerned if I'm bringing food for the other for his child. Because yeah, he's yeah. not going to put her in a position to have to depend on somebody else to do that. Right. So for me, I'm like, I have a child with somebody, but I'm not taking on the liabilities mm-hmm. because men look at these as liabilities. Yeah. Um, being responsible for multiple kids that don't belong to me because no alpha male wants to be in a position where they're taking care of another man's kid because mm-hmm. the other nah. man is looking at him now as a sin. Right, mm-hmm. right. Now, that's why we go Absolutely. back to the, to the animalistic principles. When we really look at it, I yeah. mean, the lion comes in, the, the lion comes the in, lion kills comes all the kids. Kill, yeah. all he the comes in, kills all the kids, do. smashes all the fucking girls. Hey, we gotta start over, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, listen, y'all. This we, was uh, all right. we gonna we gonna run this whole thing back. Let's right, move. right. Don't worry about it. Don't worry yeah, about it. Nah, for sure. Uh, you know, for I, sure. I, I'm just saying. If, so if that gonna, that leads to another question. What's up? We're going And the question is right. So. If you are a single man and you don't have kids, would you take a woman serious that has kids? She she would have to be of the utmost quality. I mean, you know, at, at the end of the day, it, it would have to be a, a crazy situation. But I think when you really look at it, I, you really can't, brother. And, and it's not really about the women more so, when I look at it, it's in terms of, of the kids. Because I, I feel like as a leader of a household, I have to be able to, you know, have discipline where I need to place discipline. And, and when I'm dealing with a kid that, that's not mine, like like my boy Will was saying, like, when you don't know where that father is, that, that's his seed that's right there. You, you can't discipline that seed the way that you would discipline your own. And the fact is, if you're going to be a leader and a head of household, you got to be able to, to run the household the way you need to. Yeah. I feel like I've had that mindset for a while, right? Mm-hmm. And, like, I was always, like, set in stone. No, nah, I'm not doing that because I don't <laughs> have kids. You know what I'm saying? But as I got older, like, shout out to my moms for sure. She's a very wise woman, right? And she always said that, like, the older you get, the less likely you're going to meet a woman without kids. You know what I'm saying? So it's like every day we getting older. So at some point... Yeah, you can still, now mind you, if you have those standards for yourself, and I still do, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying, that you want your lady to be, you want your first kids to be your lady's first kids as well. Yeah. But I also understand the other standpoint of, like, you know, we're getting older, and, you know, the, the but chances you, of you liking you ain't got no girl, clock, though. Man, listen. But fuck, you don't got a clock, fuck though. Say, as a I'm man, taking you a page a out of Al Pacino. Yeah. Al Pacino, 78 years old, just had a kid with a 30 year old. He got the money. No man is going to work his whole Big life Al. to build himself yeah. up to be the man that God Shout wants him Al. to be. Yeah, yeah. No man is going to work his life, yeah. go to school, make six figures, you know, nice height, nice cock, 
no homo, <laughs> to build himself up, <laughs> to be the version of the man that God chose him to be, to want to be. If my mama was here sitting on this couch right now, she, there's yeah. two things that my mama always told me. If you meet a woman that's over 30 years old and never been married, never been engaged, ain't got no kids, red flag. Number two. Yeah. You as a man, you're not going to build yourself up to to create all the opportunities, all the businesses, all the money, all the cars, all of whatever you're doing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. To go and take care of another man's offspring. No, nah, for sure. If you That's a fact. if there's no way on God's green earth with 7 billion people on this planet that well, I, I would do it, <laughs> and, <laughs> and I would hope the men that I yeah, associate yeah, myself yeah. with, because the men that I associate myself with, I'm inspired by. Yeah, I hope they wouldn't do it, yeah. but to each his own. But I am not taking care of somebody else's child, especially if she like he doing ten or twenty because he killed some dude because he stepped on his fucking shoes yeah. in the club. Yeah. So Damn. you cancel me with that. All right, so let me let me ask you this, Will. Yeah. Right, I'm a I'm a play devil's advocate a little bit, right? Okay. Mm-hmm. Because we all know that you know what I'm saying one truth about life is that you can't help who you love. So say you meet a a woman and you know she's everything you ever imagined. Who said that bullshit? <laughs> nah, nah. I want to I want to finish this because I said it. Maybe he wasn't in the room. He wasn't in the other room. But yeah, I want to finish this. So I'm, that's, I'm a, a, that's a fact, though. No, no, but okay. So, so you that's, mean, that's a fact. So, so I'm a, don't don't try and deny that shit, Taz. That, no, 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 no. I'm with you. No, I'm with you because there's people that have there. There are men that that, and I commend them. But I'm gonna go back to my mother again. My mother told me, she said, "Son, women don't love you. They fall in love with your purpose. Mm. The moment they fall out of love with your purpose." The moment they fall in love with the next man's purpose. So you always must stay on your purpose. Mm-hmm. The moment you lose that, you're out the game. So for me, you stay on your purpose as a man always. Yeah. yeah. You understand? There's too yeah, many, there's fact. too many young men that look like us, that inspire to be where we are, that don't respect the OGs because they broke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. These young cats respect yeah, money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You ain't coming yeah. in that joint. You That's pull up in a Lamborghini. If yeah, they ain't trying yeah. to hear what you're saying, yeah. you ain't. Yeah. You gotta. You gotta meet people where they at, and yeah. then pull up. Yeah. That's our culture. Mm-hmm. You understand? Ain't the yeah. white boys don't got to do that. The uncles an accountant. The uh, the other uncles a dentist. Somebody got some paper. Yeah. They already right. Know. So you got to be on your purpose and and get to the money because that's what they respect. Yeah. Now, if you're going to deal with a woman within our culture, unfortunately. You got to have some paper. There you go. Yeah, 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 there yeah. you go. Got or you got to be or, 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 I, or, or you gotta be on your back. P. And yeah, unfortunately, yeah, yeah, right yeah, now, yeah. I'm on my P, too. You got to be on your P. And yeah, if not, so, then that's what it is. You know what I'm saying? That's the, your business. You the big one. But in this economy, you can't be afford to take care of no three, four other babies, Nick, cats, kids, yeah. yourself, your kids, her. Your mama, your auntie, your grandma. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. if you really break down the money game with us, 40 million, 40 million black people in this country, only 188,000 black men statistically even make six figures. Yeah, the sure. the difference is this. The women want what we, I call 666. Six feet tall, six inch thick, six figures. Yeah. At the end of the day, all the other women in the world want that same man. Yeah. Kim Kardashian made that famous. Yeah, it limits it down a whole lot. Every woman no, in the world sure. want that guy. For sure. So if you're not coming with the five Fs, fit, feminine, friendly, fertile, fun, then what we doing? Yeah. <laughs> That boy, that boy just dropped some bars on y'all. Oh, you real quick. You got to five Fs. You got to drop that hey, again. Nah, in fact, go ahead and run that one back. Run that one back. You know what I'm saying? Run that one back. Listen, any, any man that's making real money will, un, will tell you this. Yeah. A, a man will date down in looks to go up in cooperation. Mm-hmm. Boy. It is about a, a being time. agreeable. Yeah. If I say, baby, I want steak tonight. I know I want chicken. No, no, we're going to have this. We're going to do. Wait a minute. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You got to, it's it's the, the program. See, the man decides who gets married in the society. The woman decides who lives or dies. Mm. So you have to understand the the foundational part of what, what, what this game is about when it comes to love and when it comes to family. So men do not care about love. We will bang it out. We are about respect. 
And and and, yeah. and a, when a when a woman and a man have a conversation, and a woman jumps in a man's face, she knows she can't beat him. So she'll do other things to try to beat him to gain leverage. Mm -hmm. A man mm -hmm. understands when he has a conversation with another man, it has to be at a certain frequency okay. because he had, then has to be willing to die behind his conversation. Facts. That is where you have to set the foundation and tone on the culture when you talk about being in relationships with a black queen mm -hmm. or a black king. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. We've adopted this Western this Western philosophy of relationships, and the white man has failed at it himself. Mm -hmm. All the billionaires can't keep no women. Yeah, it's tough. Yeah. The, it's tough the richest man can't keep no woman. <laughs> How you gonna keep one? You work at Amazon. Yeah, yeah that's wild. Nah, Jeff, that's a fact. So that's head of it done lost. He, that's a fact. Jeff done lost. He, he just gave her 35 billion. He just gave her 35 Jay Z's. One man, more mm -hmm. money than all the niggas in the world, basically. Man. So let's talk. If we're gonna talk about it, let's. If we're gonna have the conversation, we gotta have the con that real honest conversation, and we gotta hold people accountable, and men hold each other accountable. Yeah, you'd be like, "Yo, Taz, that's the fuck shit you did. Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't yeah. have did that. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, you know what? To, most hey, definitely. she called me. I'm gonna hold you down, but that's fucked up. That's how you move. But that's that's what that's family. That's boy. That's what brothers do. Yeah. Women will, they're sometimes, not all, but a lot of women are catty. You, your girl introduces you to her best friend. Best friend might want to fuck. That's how it go. It's crazy. We all That's seen right. it. We all been there when we've seen girls competing with each other to the point where they will destroy each other's relationships over a man. Yeah. yeah. Period. Mm. That's a fact. And single women keep women single. So, you know, you got to have that. That's that conversation. So when you're talking about women having kids out of wedlock or women having children because they feel they're empowered. See, as men, when we make money, we give it away. Mm -hmm. When women make money, yeah. they feel more independent. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. For sure. You yeah. understand? We're I don't want to take that. the mic too much, but, you know, I just want to put yeah, some yeah, sauce yeah. on nah, the nah, 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 That boy, that boy just saying? dropped some knowledge, though. For real, for that's real. That's why they but, tapped in right now. Yeah, that's a fact, though. But like, I got another question for y'all, right? And yeah. Will, I know you, you, you're a special guest, so I always <laughs> got my, you know what I'm saying, 10 yeah. four hat on. Uh -oh. You know what I'm saying? So this, going to now? this week, I was thinking about, like, how are buses, like, physically possible on the road and i'm gonna give you what i was thinking about right so you know how like you in a car or a truck right and it's two seats they're pretty close together it ain't that much room really in like a car truck whatever right but you have buses that have two seats on both sides and a walkway but they fit in the lane and cars and trucks we all drive on roads some of them barely fit in the lanes. So how do buses fit in the lanes if they have two seats on both sides and a walkway in the middle? Taz, I'm going to give you that one. <laughs> no thoughts. I don't know how. I, 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 process it. Yeah. I mean, at first, at first I thought this question was bullshit. I'll be real yeah, with you. But yeah. as, as you kept talking... I mean, when you think I mean, about I mean, it, it's no, like but I've, how? Been on, I've been on a highway. First of all, a highway looks different from <laughs> being outside of a vehicle on a highway. Yeah. Like, it's like those lanes are bigger than we actually think those lanes are. So, I you think. You got more room. I See, think you, you really, really got more room. I mean, but they're not, they're not only a, on highways, though. Think about the city buses that's going through downtown and stuff like that. It should be tight. It'd be, it'd, it'd, it'd but, be they, tight. but they fit in the lane, though. They got, they got bus lanes, though. I mean, yeah, I think I think, I think they did the math and the measurements, and buses are literally as wide as you could possibly have. Like, because yeah. you have to have a whole different different operational by the, license. By the laws, so by the if you think if you're thinking just bus, you got also think like eighteen wheelers too. Yeah, because I mean, right. the, the they, buses they, 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 lanes, they also the lanes have are definitely like, like wide enough. It's across the board though. Like the the that's the widest. They be all the way over the lane. That's why you have to have a special license. I mean, and it's nah, a wide like, turn all that. They Man. really be in the lane though. Like if they drive, be drive thinking they while he really, driving. Yeah. <laughs> That's when he get his best thoughts. What you, what you he think, was mad as shit behind like, the bus. Like, you, I mean, when you when you pose a like, question on me, man, I just thought about my Maybach. Yeah, yeah, wide body. Uh -huh. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Hold I mean, the lanes up. 
Yeah, it feels I, like a bus on the inside. Yeah, but that's, that's what it, it's like a plane on wheels. You know, like, you know, yeah, 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 you yeah. know it's it's you know, I, I, I don't. Right. I mean, in New York, I I mean the buses is in the bus lanes, but it's the same. It's the same length as a regular road. Like it's exactly. really interesting. It's really interesting. It's dimensions, but I I just think it's the law, the way that they build a build a van, build the buses. I, yeah. I I don't know. I don't. Ride buses, so <laughs> um, <laughs> yo, don't ride buses <laughs> or a school bus. Think about a school bus when you was growing up. Like, you know, I ain't that, the school bus difference. growing up. My parents love me. Oh no, listen, no, 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 listen, listen, <laughs> listen. My parents drove listen. me to school. school bus, I, I, I basically <laughs> lived in the projects and took the yellow. I took the bus. I, yeah, I will say that I took the bus. Too. School bus was lit. lit. Yeah. But I, you know, yeah, I took the bus. Down. The reason why I took Other the bus, animals. well, I could have went to school. I, my mother would have dropped me off too, you know. But I, I used to trade um, baseball cards on the bus mm-hmm. Big money. before we get to school. I used to have magic cards and baseball cards. I used to trade yes, them. Sir. And um, that boy, I lived in a, I lived in, a tra- I lived in a trailer park, and it was all white people that lived there, and they all had magic cards. They all had baseball cards and magic cards. I learned how to trade baseball move. cards and cards dealing with my. My, my my white friends growing up in a trailer park. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So when we got on the bus, we was excited to get on the bus because everybody had their binders with the folders, with the with the see-through plastic, with the baseball cards and the, and the magic cards on it. And we really didn't know what we was doing. We used to use Beckham, Beckett, Beckham books, which were um, the magazines that told you the price of your card. Mm-hmm. So you would look on, your, look on the magazine and look at the number to match it, and you'd be like, oh, this shit worth $20. Yeah. Or whatever, yeah. and that's how we would trade, and yeah. that was our first entrepreneurial. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Twelve yep. years yep. old. You know what I'm saying on the <laughs> get bus? To the paper. Yeah, get to it. Now, for sure. and, and, and 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 the white boys who lived in the trailer home had money. Mm-hmm. They because they came to school with cash because they had to pay for their lunch. They were knowing, you know. The, the assistance shit that we was on when we was going to the line when we had we was only paying two dollars when we got to the cashier and the cashier was my auntie <laughs> so half the year I got food for free oh, yeah. you know what I'm saying yeah. but but everybody had a 10 20 dollar bill and was paying for lunch but mostly it was the white boys that had the money yeah. Yeah, and they yeah, was in yeah, a trailer yeah, home sure. too and I realized living in a trailer home but even though white people lived in those conditions where I lived in their mindset was different they had mm. money too still yeah yeah yeah, some to him. Yeah, it was crazy. Yeah. So tell him like Denzel, you know, I'm leaving here with something. <laughs> <laughs> hey, with I'm something. leaving. I'm leaving here with something, y'all. Yeah, that's a fact, I man. Feel it. Yes, sir. Well, look, man. Big, big news this week, man. What happened? Apparently, <laughs> the city of Paris has had an outbreak with bed bugs. Oh shit! Heard about that? Oh man! In, in, right in, on in time Paris? with Fashion Week. Yo, I mean. I've, I've heard Somebody some reviews. Them joints. <laughs> yeah. But no, nah, I've heard some reviews of Paris, though. I've never been personally myself. Paris but a is like of the that. Homies, I like, like Paris. They, well, I've heard that Paris is a little bit dirty than what they make it out there. No, nah, it's, it's definitely like New York. Okay, yeah, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. New York dirty as shit, too. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. you know, it just is but what it, it is. It's, it's, like a, it's like a city, yeah. It's a lot of people yeah. living on but top Paris of But Paris is town. like that. It's, you know, it's a lot going on. Yeah. No, for has sure. its own show. special yeah. special little scenario you know, out there. I lived in France for a little bit. Okay, talk about that because all my products are produced in France. Mm-hmm. Shout out, um, facts. I lived off Champs Elysees, nigga. I don't know. <laughs> I was in the Four Seasons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. know about no bed bugs one, one, and shit one, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know nothing about that. Look, but, my, my thing is, though, is just like, how is that even a thing, though? Uh, here, I'm going like, to tell you why. How is it an outbreak of bed bugs, I'm though, t- I'm gonna tell you, you why. really think about it? <laughs> people, people in France, what most people don't know about France is this. Mm-hmm. The laws are very, very interesting. When you go to school in France, so say you go to school to be a lawyer, mm-hmm. you can only be a lawyer. You cannot do what we do here. What you see, ninety uh, percent of people who get degrees here do something else. Right, right. Yeah. So, um, if you're a flight attendant on Air France, you are there pretty much until you die. Mm-hmm. So you're there until you're seventy, eighty years old. And what happens is the young people have no work; they have nothing to do because they can't get the jobs because the jobs are given to 
it's grandfather, so you're you're there. So these young kids are skateboarders, creatives, graffiti artists, you know, seeing the culture that's happening in America and in London and want to duplicate that. So okay. you have young people who who aren't working, who are rebelling because they want to work. And then you have the older people who are saying, Well, I gotta do this forever until I'm dead. Damn. Mm-hmm. So you know, the cultures are, the American culture and the French is very different. Mm-hmm. It's even like mm-hmm. in in the back seat of a car in France or in Paris, when I land in Paris, if I don't have my seatbelt on, the cop will give me a ticket, I'm in the back seat. You got your seatbelt on. Yeah. In in the U.S., you don't have to have your, your seatbelt on. Right, the, right. The rules are just, the rules are different. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, and yeah, so, yeah, sure. you know, I can, I can see the bed bug situation because it coming from a political Mm -hmm. A political stance, Mm -hmm. not necessarily because people aren't cleaning the beds and spread and it's you know whatever because it's very very different outside of Sean outside of the districts in Paris. Shit can go down, right, 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 and the police don't even go to those hoods like that. Yeah, yeah, you know, it it can go down. So (laughs) be a little wild. Yeah, it can go down. They got the they got the knives out there. Oh no 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 twenty one seven. Oh no 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 no. Are they, bro? They playing with grenade launchers, all type of shit. Oh shit! They not. This is this is not. It ain't the type. Listen to what grenade launchers. Jesus, it ain't that. Remember the last major. Christ. Event a major the last major event that happened in France. Remember, what? It was a dude? It was a dude and a woman who had locked themselves in the apartment was gonna blow themselves up. Oh yeah, nah, they I had don't the bomb. That. They had bombs strapped to them in the projects, and they raided the building, and they went to blow themselves up. Yep. Oh, well, <laughs> I know. I know. On to that point. T's and P's. T's and P's, guys. <laughs> I know where I don't want to go, man. And on that note, man, we're going to take a little one, two, man. Exactly. Stay tuned for this commercial break. We'll be right back. Look, man. Yo. Public service announcement. PSA. We taking ads. Yes, Marketing. Go, whatever you want to do. Yeah. If you serious about mm-hmm. your brand, mm-hmm. your business. Let's go. Whatever you got Let's going go. on, man, tap in. But we're going to turn we you up. Right we here. might put you here. Right here. You know what I mean? Maybe a little logo on the bottom corner or something. We gonna, we're going to make it happen. We're going to make it work. Whatever your budget is. Let's do it. We're going to make it fit. Man. If you have a business, event, product, anything that you want to get out there and let the people know about, hit us up, man. We got yeah. the email going. We got the email for them? Look, we're going to put the email right, right here. here like this. Boom. There it is. Hit us up. Let us know, man. Live from the lab. Let's go. All right, man. Welcome back. We back to the right. second half. You know what I'm saying? We got a another special guest on the anonymous uh, mic right now. So you know what I'm saying? If you hear a different voice, just know, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? But we we gonna get into it per usual, man. Yeah. We're we gonna start off with a request for the second half, man. Let's get it. My boy J Cole went crazy on Lil Yachty verse, man. I mean on Lil Yachty song. So we gonna get into that one real quick. Let's <laughs> They look the same, they said they look too light Be my cup, bet she couldn't tell that it was Sprite I give a fuck about her face, she walking with a Bamski, I'm a strike Yeah, I'm a strike Sauce Strike, uh. Little Yachty really was Cole and Yachty, they they know. They respect. Come and pay your debt Just like a travel pillar We at your neck For the way you slept It's nuanced But I see hella influence And in the way you dress The way you sound The way you try to move And try to stay abreast On all the latest flows And latest tones From Generation Next Y'all chasing relevance It's evidenced By the way you step As for me I cook so masterfully Ain't gotta pay a chef I'm older now But still I'm cutting edge I'm like a bayonet From out the veil We ocean surf Certified. You gotta wear your vest, too many homicides, a lot of sliding, they good at making decks Thanks to God I made it out the city, most would say I'm blessed My greatest flex is that I made a milli, feel like I'm Bangladesh I hate the press, refusing interviews whenever they request Niggas fake, progressive and woke, I started saying less I had to stop it, peeped how they profit, off of racial stress Some activists got so rich they probably wish we stay oppressed Studio steppers moving extra on songs fake and rep Only breaking bad in the Lab. Thought y'all was making meth Niggas making threats and I laugh 
That's cause you ain't a threat Don't ask how I feel about no rappers Shit they okay I guess Incoming car, press the button The one that say accept He FaceTime to ask for a feature And saw the face of death I'm on your song, your stream's going up Not quite the Drake effect But don't complain, bitch, take what you get And cut the label check, my table set I dine on your favorite One verse will take his breath I probably put more Yo, my man hit the same rhyme the whole man. verse Like I don't know if y'all know how difficult that is as a rapper. He went through nah. six. I, how many bars my man went through with the same, the yeah, same round? Yeah, double entendre is crazy. Going yeah, wild. That was crazy. Yeah, that was a, they say he did a shot at Young Boy too, though. What part? When he was like, um, you know, he got that FaceTime from a rapper and oh, he yeah. answered. See the face of death. He saw the face of death. Golly. Because, you know, Young Boy put that snippet out that was like, he asked J. Cole for a feature and he bluffed, basically. Uh, you know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, I think. And he Cole, told him, like, when he texted him back and was like, when he see him, it's the strong arm emoji. Nah, like, Cole, Cole, <laughs> Cole's talking to the whole industry with that. Yeah. Like, he, yeah. like Cole has been strong arming feature verses for a minute now. I mean, he's been going crazy throughout the And every feature he gets on, he goes nuts. So he's talking, he's the face of death for everybody. Like, hit me for yeah. a feature. I'm like, <laughs> Stop. Like, he made Yachty step his shit up. Like, that was one nah, of Yachty's did, best though. verses. He did, yes, I think that was his best verse. I mean, J. Cole get $1,000 a word. Yeah, he do. He gets $1,000 <laughs> a word. And he don't mind telling ah, his, that's his, a yeah. bar. <laughs> on his, on his, I mean, his artist, you know. So, you just got to come correct. That's man. numbers. He said, just calm down and call your label and cut the check. Exactly. Because that's the game. I mean, yeah, that's that Lil, Wayne, Lil Wayne created this shit. He did 100 features. In one year, they got a hundred million, right? Yeah, but there you go. And I mean, that the play that they making <laughs> now is like with streaming and everything. If you're connected to a major artist feature, like you have to almost have that on your album in order to make your streams go. So mm-hmm. yeah, you do. <laughs> Ted, I, I mean, able to cut the check. The, the 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 publishing, the game is interesting because mm-hmm. when you're hot, yeah, your pub gonna cut the check for the features. Yeah, for sure. Now, when you reach that max. Of how much money you going to get from your pub, mm-hmm. the featured artist can now tap into his pub because he got you. So now, when you got a Lil Wayne and an NBA Young Boy, I can go get five ten million dollars for that feature. Yeah, and then he can go get five million ten million from that feature. Run it, and they can they can run it up. That video, yeah. the tour, the concerts, the songs, the spend so. And you know, in pub, how pub works anyway, you don't own it as an artist until they recoup. Yeah, so they right. give you that money. You know, you don't you don't get that money back and they own the record. That's I mean, a loan, baby. It's a loan. So yeah. Yeah, I, mean, I got a label. I got a label with a bunch of artists. We I just dropped the Benny the Boom record on Apple. Okay. You know, so you look you look up Benny the Boom and uh yeah, you yeah, see yeah. Billionaires Real Music Group, but you know. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, I'm low, that on the next cloud right there. So, yeah, matter of fact. Billionaires wrote music on these next rounds. We got yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. songs, man. I got some shit. Saying? I got some yeah, shit yeah, on, yeah. On, on, on iTunes and Spotify yeah, yeah, with some yeah, very we... big artists. You know, some very big artists. Some of the biggest artists in the world. Let's go. That I, I never talk about. Let's go. You know for sure, saying? for sure. That, but, that's um, how it's supposed to be. But that's something. Now y'all know. Y'all learn something new. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> exclusive. New. Live from the yeah, lab. Exclusive, sure, man. man. But look, speaking on artists, though, man. What's what happened? What's going on with this Tupac case? Hey, look. So a couple pies ago, I called it. You did. They, they, I, you did. I don't know. I, I thought he was already locked up. Because, I mean, <laughs> with everything that was going on, the way my man was talking out here, I thought they had already got him. But apparently they, they went and locked up Keefe D after running in his house and him doing all the Vlad TV interviews, et cetera, et cetera. You know, he, I guess he, was it a proffer agreement? He had a proffer agreement. So that's basically an agreement with the government in which that it's not immunity. So it's different from having immunity, but it's basically saying within this agreement, whatever statements you make, we won't use this against you in the court of law. But it doesn't mean that if you go and wild out and do a whole bunch of interviews with, you know, different platforms and you write a book about it, we can't use that against you in the court of law, too. So, yeah, First Amendment. They, they went and got my man. Oh, wait, wait, wait. So I'm confused. Uh-huh. So he signed a deal that was yeah. supposed to protect him. <clears throat> now, I'm going to get into it when y'all. I'm going to get into it. I'm just, I don't know what's going on. So, for real. in order to get a proffer deal, mm. you must do what? Snitch. Snitch. Okay. 
Start My man said it like a riddle. Start there. <laughs> it's it's tattletale. Tale. <laughs> the tattletale. <laughs> the proffer deal was only for LA County. Okay. He got arrested where? Vegas. Vegas. Has nothing to do with his agreement. Man. Okay. Darn now, it. he didn't. <laughs> He didn't shoot. He didn't shoot. No, but no, let me give you the, the the details. He didn't shoot nobody. Right. Okay. Let's I start saw there. that. I saw that. Yeah. That's number one. He just gave the gun to somebody, right? Allegedly. Allegedly. Please look at this. Allegedly. 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 Yeah, I saw, you saw me come through with right, that. Right, I, I was trying right. to finish you my because this is going on all <laughs> platforms. I'm saying allegedly. Yeah. 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 Um, Puff gave. Um, shout out to Puff. Puff gave a million dollars. Um, a million dollars allegedly to Zip. Rest in peace, Zip. Um, I knew Zip. Um, and Zip was supposed to give that million dollars to Keefy D for the hit. And Zip kept the money. Was it, I mean, it, this is a Harlem thing, so I can get into this because New York is in the building. So everyone in Harlem knew who Zip was. Zip owned Zip Codes. He owned clubs. But he was also he's also and was also known as a muscle for Puff and for a lot of other people. Okay. Um, Zip never gave that million to Keefe D. Mm. That's good for Puff. He ran off with the bag. That's good for Puff. I'm giving you some some them detail details. Yeah. Um, okay. So that so yeah so that that didn't happen and. Obviously, the conversation with Vlad, and every time you know somebody goes on Vlad and talks, they go to jail. Yo, mm-hmm. Vlad is sensational. So, like, did you see how Vlad got him though? Well, it was strategic. Yeah, because and and the feds came to Vlad. Vlad, <sighs> Vlad didn't cooperate, but they did. They, they came to him. Man, um, but he was trying not to say anything. Like, yeah. like Vlad was asking him the questions, and Keefe was like, "I'm gonna keep." I mean, Keefe. About, you got you got to think about it like this. Too. Was like, well, the time of that the time of that interview, like right before that interview, KVD was dying, he was dying uh, of cancer. You know, he. Um, okay. I assume he didn't think he would make it to this point, but oh, he ended up having. Damn. Well, that makes more sense. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I figured, I figured, I figured something <laughs> like, I figured something oh, like that was going yeah. on. That now. that lines but, up. Man. Somebody <laughs> all, yeah. well, when they when well, they is about to go Christ. out, they is always trying to tell their side. Right, he like, like all right, I'm gonna tell that. the truth now. Nah, I'm about to die. Now nah, my it. man was like, I'm gonna <laughs> run up a bag. What are you talking? Like he's like, before he said, I get up out of here, like my words are worth money. Vlad was paying him for them interviews, probably. Oh, for sure. Man, he was like, I'm trying to get right before I get to them heaven gate. Yeah, fact. He like, I'm gonna. Confess all um, my sins. So when I see, <laughs> when I see Jesus, hey, I'm like, look, hey, y'all, look guess Jesus. what? <laughs> guess what happened? That's crazy, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's tough, yo. So, I mean, but you know, the game. It's a lot of shit that I can't really touch on, but the game is the game is changing now. You know, obviously, the street. You know, I I put it like this. Young Dolph shooters, right? Mm-hmm. They're all dead. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Would you laugh? <laughs> so it's like you know when you play when you when you're you know what I'm saying when you playing in that space when you playing in that space and you playing with people that are good people that did a lot for their community or just had a family or people that love people them. that loved them. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Different, it, it, yeah, it's yeah, different, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know. And so, you know, let's let's hope that the reports are not the reports. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Because it could get real crazy between. I'm not even gonna mention individuals, but I'm gonna say it can get real crazy between coast. Yeah, yeah, it's still like that out there. Like, what's the you know temperature what in New York right now? Like, is it is it is the temperature in New York? Is it is it warm out there? Yeah, it's supposed to be winter right now, right? Yeah, it's, it's hot supposed though. To be fall. Right? <laughs> it's hot. Right? Okay, so it's hot in yeah, New York. Yeah, I just want to see. You know, what would you think about that anonymous number two? <laughs> <laughs> you got you got some New York insight it, out, it, out it. there? Nah, no. <laughs> it's no, it's no gunners on this yeah, podcast. Yeah, I guess. Well, look, I got a, I got a question. <laughs> What's up? Go ahead. I ain't gonna say no nothing, but they they know what time it is. 
yeah, I'm not yeah. gonna say he or him or she or they. Yeah, you know, but it's so New York. We all know Trust about New me. York niggas, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna just leave it at that. Yeah, it can get real crazy. Yeah, for sure. So this, I got this question right, and this question for anonymous number two over there. Okay. Once you get yourself together and start laughing and shit, <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> All right, so check this out, right? Mm-hmm. Would you oh, rather man. not be able to wear makeup for the rest of your life or cheat on your man? I could go without wearing makeup. Nah, hit the applause. Oh, so that's a, that's yeah, a, that's, a, that's, a, that's an easy one. Hit the applause button on that. Bullshit. 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 Now and I look. Nah, that's good. That's good so you going for the rest going of your life, makeup. though? For the rest of your that's life, good. you talking about wedding and everything? No, nah, the rest of your life is but crazy. But technically, if you, yeah. if you found your one, like what you need makeup for? Exactly. What you for doing? them pictures. Exactly. No. You what already know. What the pictures? What so pictures say you taking? On who? On Damn, your wedding Taz, day? You, you hit not that going though. to have makeup. You said on. if you found if the it one. Was one. But hold on though. Hold on. Hold on. Wait a minute. It goes with what she's saying, but he 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 touched on something makeup. that was crazy. He said, "But what if you found the one that you love? Mm-hmm. What difference does it make? Because yeah. it doesn't matter anymore. There exactly. you go. Like, yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. Who exactly. are you trying to impress? Make who are you right. trying attention okay. to get? Okay. It's the, it don't yeah. matter. Yeah. Chill on Instagram. Yeah. But what that's why yeah. that's why a lot of females like they when they really in love they kind of I don't like to say lose themselves, but they don't." care as much because they feel like they found the real the one's gonna buy into want. the structure like at, at the end of the day like that's like if you really found your one is doing what he's supposed to do and holding it down like he's supposed to hold it down it's like what need do i have for these other yeah, things yeah, yeah. that the other girls have going on no, nah, for sure, for sure. So I got another one for you, right? <laughs> uh oh, okay. this is how we gonna do it. Uh oh, okay. hot seat. All right, so like. If we think about today's times, right, mm-hmm. and just like men and women in general, you know what I'm saying? What do you feel like men are missing out here? Like, in terms of like, you know, their approach, what they got going on, how they treating women. What's one thing that like you would say if you was talking to your friends, like, man, these niggas, they bullshit. Oh, you about to create a whole problem. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Sure. Sure. Um, That's what we need, creating yeah. problems out here. The first thing I can think about is probably the consistent. First thing. Yeah. The first thing is probably <laughs> consistency. <laughs> like, and just on the basis of I feel like today's generation, men want women to chase them. So they might text you or they might one date. But they feel like after that, the woman is supposed to chase them, and that I will never understand. I don't, <laughs> I, I don't get that. I don't. I mean, oh, shit. Chase is crazy. Like, Uh-oh. So, <laughs> I don't, I don't so know. who do you feel like is the prize? <laughs> there it is. That's the question. Oh, you dropped the bomb on that. <laughs> yeah. Let's put the, drop the bomb. Yeah. Who's yeah. the prize? <laughs> yeah, that's how do you feel? That's a great rhetorical. Go ahead. Come on. <laughs> on the board is crazy. Come on. It's, I got it. Look, it's right here. <laughs> <laughs> I got the bomb drop. Yeah, Twenty nine yeah, yeah. seconds late. I got it. it. It's right here. It's here though. It's Come right. on. Um, he found it. Who's the prize, anonymous? <laughs> I don't know. That's a hard one. Only because I feel like you want a regular nigga. Or you everybody, want a special nigga? I do want an expensive nigga, but oh, I'm just saying, like a man could be a prize and a woman can too. Because I feel like women bring life into this world, right? So mm-hmm. y'all need us to reproduce, and um, I feel like building a family with somebody. You know, stuff like that is important. So I would feel like a woman is a prize in that sense. But men are supposed to be providers, so. Well, te- technically a man. Is a provider. A man bears life. Supposed to be. I only say supposed to be because nowadays women 
You know. I mean, the technology now, they say niggas having babies. I, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> niggas is getting pregnant and having babies now. Right. And the wow. trans done turned on women. <laughs> Talking about, we don't even fuck with y'all. Y'all got us all shit passed. We don't even fuck with y'all no Not more. We can have now. babies. We don't even need yeah, y'all, yeah. motherfuckers. <laughs> Thanks, Obama. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, it's shit crazy. <laughs> oh, holy shit. And they Thanks. talking about Thanks, Barry. the prize. Yeah, it Here, is. It is. Here's, here's what I know. Wow. Don't know <laughs> Don't know a woman Want a man That other women Don't want Facts Oh man Period Yeah let me Let me hear your take On that one No that's right. a fact That okay. is a All fact right. Yeah You For know sure. what I'm saying Um, And women are very catty And they're always In competition With each other Even when they're not That's why The makeup The eyelashes The hair And all the other stuff Is important To the culture Because it's just like all the other ritual dances that you used to see back in the day in Africa. That's what got everybody's attention. Even you go back yeah. to the Egyptian times, the Egyptians put the eyelashes on and make their eyes slanted and it made men want them more. Y'all are competing. Mm. Y'all are competing for gods. And why I say this. Yeah. That's how I feel about me. <laughs> uh, <that's> and, <laughs> And why and why I say this let me is up, let me sit up straight because a, a, a woman wants to mate. Oh, first of all, a woman's not going to have sex with a man she doesn't respect. Get her. Secondly, <laughs> a woman wants to mate with the most masculine man because if she does conceive, she wants the biggest, strongest, brightest. So when you. Start talking about <laughs> yeah. back the nation. You 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 feel what I'm saying? So, getting back to the basics of mm -hmm. yeah. why women do what they do because it doesn't matter how much a man has. Trust me, you you from New York. We seen a lot of niggas in the line that got means and can't get in the club. Mm -hmm. We seen the, the crackhead come to the club, shake the, shake the bouncer's hand in front. You're like, come on, man, come <laughs> on in here, bro. Get it. It's about respect and it's about. You know, these 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 things, money doesn't mean anything. Money mm -hmm. just enhances who you are. Mm -hmm. So if you're an asshole mm -hmm. before you got money, you're mm -hmm. an asshole even more when you got it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So a woman is looking for masculinity and will go for the most masculine man regardless because that's her nature. And she cannot go against her nature. Because mm -hmm. that's, that's rewriting who God is. And God does what he wants when he wants can't argue with that one. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he on this shit. Yeah. 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 But I'm just but I'm just I'm just saying when yeah. you when 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 you talk about the prize, she goes, we both are the prize. I'm I'm with you with that. As a man, I feel like if I'm going to have to risk my life, because if somebody runs in here right now with a pistol, I gotta jump in front of that gun for you. So we not equal. Yeah. Yeah, that's a fact. Real talk? That's a fact. We not equal. So that's a fact. And 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 the word submission, women get all up in arms about the word submission, but submission has nothing to do with submitting to me. Submitting or submission is submitting to the God in man. Now, if you believe in God, the creator, then you will submit to him. Not to me. That's how I tell you, man. My religious brothers really. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> so, that's why we, so that's why we got so, to so, so you're not submitting to me because I fall short of God's grace. Mm -hmm. I'm a fail as a man. I'm going to fall short. Mm -hmm. It's a fact. But you're not with God. It, it, well, so that's it, who it, you're it, submitting it to when you're submitting to man. It, not to it, me. It you're submitting to the God in me. It is. You understand? So come on now, don't let them do you like that. You can cut them off. You yeah, want to? Come on, none of us. Throw a jab. Yeah. Throw a jab. Right. Right. Yeah, come on, low blow. Oh my God, I'm a listener. What the? No, 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 no. But it's good. Though. I like that. I like that. That's important. I like to listen, comprehend. Oh, you gonna rock with them? Okay, for sure. No, but I don't believe that. I don't believe that niggas ain't shit. I don't believe that. I feel like. 
young boys ain't shit. But when you re- meet a man, like a real man, then that's that's a difference. And different. I, I think most more young guys need to hear the talk like my brother will talking right now because they yeah, don't get yeah, to yeah. hear it like right. that. They don't, nah, they don't really, you don't see boys. on social media the fact that you're going to get a benefit from being a masculine man. That that's actually what these women want because at the end of the day, they're going to tell I you mean, something different on social media in order to really cut out the competition like that. Under Understandable, but let's not shy away from the fact that like the reason, a big reason the way men are the way they are is because of the women. In, in what sense? Because, the way, what because way? like, y'all get on Instagram, right, and y'all preach what y'all want. Y'all want this type of nigga, this type of nigga. You want a nigga who going to do this for you, this, that, and the third. So men are changing themselves to be that, and that may not be the most beneficial or the most uplifting to a man. But you don't think that goes both ways? Men sit here and they say, oh, I no, want a woman that got, a, it, it don't. got this, and that, and the third. I want I'm a woman that got this amount of money, this type of no, whatever, whatever. No, because men don't care about how much money a female got at the end of the day. It don't That's go facts. both ways That's because... Facts. And Men. women just start getting money too, yeah. by the way. Black women just started really reaching the pinnacle yeah, of now getting money. Yeah. Black women are the most enrolled in school. Because that's what women do in our community when the they have nothing to sentence? fall back on. <laughs> <laughs> Let me give you the Politically correct. <laughs> black women are the most enrolled because a lot of times our black women have no other thing to fall back on if they don't have a man. So they run back to education. So they become very educated because they haven't settled. But see, you got to remember, Becky marries from the neck up. Mm. We do it from the neck down. Mm. Yeah. Paris Hilton wants to know the dude she's dating, who's her uncle, who's her aunt, who's her grandfather. We go low frequency. We fuck to heal. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> nah, it's true. It's true. It's real game. I'm giving you. I'm giving you the game. Y'all, y'all got me in this. Y'all got me in here. Taz, y'all got me in here. Taz, y'all got me up. Bro. I'm giving you the game. We potting. Us as men, and we and it's a room full of men, and we know this. So the message is: we've been through everything. We've been through everything, man. As black men, we got to go outside and face the world. We got to go outside and smile at people we work for. We got to go outside and risk being killed by our own brothers Ooh. we got to go outside and be risking getting hit by a car getting ran over by a car get hit by a bus Thank there's you. so many um there's so many things that can happen to us as black men mm-hmm. yeah and the most important thing is finding peace through that process and healing through that process yeah. we're now starting to understand what therapy is you know what i'm saying we used yeah, to bang it sure. out that was therapy Nah, now sure. hold steady now is we have sex to heal and that may consist of multiple women and what where we come from we were never taught to be with just one woman ever i mean the white man can't even do that he warren bought- buffett the richest men in the western society who put marriage and the culture amongst <laughs> us are failing at their own game. So, as you know, most countries are Muslim and, you know, hey, these, these, Muslim these, brothers. You know yeah, they, they have sure. multiple Y'all wives, have multiple women sure. because they understand it takes a village to raise a family. Mm. And it's always been like that with us. We were never supposed to be with one person. That's just that over there. Hey. And as you know, as a woman, and we could even dive a little bit deeper, you, I'm not going to say you specifically, but I'm going to say women. There have been women who have who understand that they must share. <laughs> and, and, and. The tone was clear. Uh, yeah, 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 right, right. That. Did no, y'all, notice how he delivered right. it to her. Yeah, you got you to yeah, deliver yeah. it in a nice package. Uh, yeah. And it was, it was you can go, wrapped. and you can go, Beyonce said, to the left, to the left, she, all my single ladies, but when. Though. When Facts. when when allegedly yeah. Jay right. Jay and them came that. out, they were fighting in the elevator in the meatpacking district. Uh, he was doing Becky with the nice hair for ten years. 
she ain't go nowhere. <laughs> and most of the women, yeah, I which I say 99% of the women on the planet, aren't richer than Beyonce yeah. and yep. don't look better than her. Yeah. yeah. So what does That's that leave you in the I totem pole? Yep. So I say even Oprah got a Stedman. Hmm. So, but I think not to cut you off, but I think the bigger message is what I'm trying to off. say <laughs> is that, like, hey, wake up, man. Hey. You know what I mean? You got to wake up out here. It's, for real. It's, it's understanding that all women, and we talked about this earlier, mm -hmm. out of the 45 plus million black Americans in America, if we were to break this down statistically, half or more than half are women. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So let's just sure. say out of 45 million, 25 million are women. Mm -hmm. So you have 20 million men left. Let's say 5 million of those 20 million are in prison. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's 15 mm -hmm. million. Yeah, cut it on down. Now let's mm -hmm. say mm -hmm. another 5 million are LGBTQ, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Mm -hmm. They're not That's in the another running. five. So They're now not. you only have 10. Mm -hmm. Now out of that 10 million, only about 188,000 black men make more than six figures. In this country, mm -hmm. here's the problem with that narrative. <laughs> yeah. but the problem with that narrative is this: we get a one percent, yeah. baby. Every <laughs> woman in the world wants them. Yep. yep. Period. So you're competing, and that's why men speak about the five F's: fit, feminine, friendly, fertile, fun. Needs that, right? So you have to understand that the Russians, the Caribbeans, the Canadians, the Brazilians, the Dominicans, the Asians all want Kanye, all want LeBron. They all want a Allen Iverson or a Michael Jordan. So in order to maintain that, you must maintain what men want because men make the rules. Yeah. Right, <laughs> because yeah, men, yeah, come because on. men decide. Come on, because men decide. Yeah, you yeah, you yeah, agreed yeah, earlier. Yeah, you yeah, said yeah. men decide come who on. get married. Throw them jabs. And women no? decide okay. who live okay. or die. So what we're saying okay, is, so, on, well, hold my so, question. Go ahead. I got you. What we're saying is, we can both be the prize, but there's a lot less of the prizes that are me. Is there's not that many me prizes? Okay, so what? We both prizes, but but me prize is limited. So, okay, so if you're part of the 1%, mm -hmm. right, what makes a woman special to you? So, say you got five women, right, and you decide My you want to marry. My man just said the five No, 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 Let her finish. You, I, got the, I got this a whole nother level. Right. She's asking a whole different question. And you want to marry one of them, right, one uh -huh. of the five. What would make her stand out to you that would make you want to marry her? Since money doesn't matter and Status doesn't matter on a woman's behalf. So, so there's two things that a woman can offer a man. Kick it. The first thing is sex, and every woman has that. God has given every woman that tool, which makes you equal to the next woman. Mm -hmm. The second thing is resources, which separates you from the next woman. Mm -hmm. Resources meaning money, mm -hmm. network. Got gold, bitch. Okay, meaning <laughs> um, it could be as simple as when you when you come home and you go, "Hey, babe, I just found this job for you." Here's the guy. He's the manager. He's going to do an interview. He's going to interview you to get you this job to get you on to the next level. Resources meaning, hey, baby, I got credit. I'm going to expend my credit, add you as an authorized user so you could build your credit so we can go buy this, uh, this lot over here so we can grow mm -hmm. we can grow plants or fruits so we can feed ourselves. Hey, baby, I got a million dollars I made here. Here goes the money. You're the leader. Yep. That's what separates. Yep. And I'm, let me let me let me so add one way. thing. Hold on, let me That's add one thing. Me. Let me add one thing to that list, though. <laughs> I feel like the woman gotta let her man know and make her man feel like he's that guy. You get what I'm saying? Like you gotta reassure your man that like he the top dog out here. Like you ain't interested in nobody else, and that come with a level of respect. Like. If you come in the crib and, like, the guy's over, you know what I'm saying, we watching football, like, come in there, John, and be like, y'all hungry? Like, if y'all hungry, I'll make y'all something to eat type deal. Like, make me look like I'm that guy. You know what I'm saying? That's a big part of it. Like, I need to be the star in your world because I know as a woman you want to feel the same way, mm -hmm. and so does a man. But nah, so. they want Chris Brown. And then wonder why they get hurt. Chris Brown with another girl. Wait, what's wrong with Chris Brown? Chris Brown. Chris Brown. Oh, no, I, want, nah, man, I don't Chris want the plumber. I don't want the Amazon guy or the mailman. I want Chris Brown. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, he yeah. left me, girl. 
Got me real. Yeah, I mean, duh. Yeah. Of course he's gonna yeah. fucking leave you. It's Chris fucking Brown. Uh, right, yeah. right. Because, but that's the yeah. that's the mindset of our women now. It's and Disney then movies. when you add the Sukiyanas and the sexy reds, mm -hmm. they destroy the young women. And mm -hmm. when you can destroy the young women's minds, you can destroy the culture. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You understand sure. what I'm saying? So now all the women want to eat ass now. <laughs> <laughs> it's, not, it's a, but I don't get it. Whoa, that might be a horn too. <laughs> you hear what I'm saying? Golly. You know? Yeah. What y'all out here doing outside? Yeah, nah, I'm glad I'm, yeah. I'm chilling. I, I ain't catch that wave. You know what I'm saying? So it's I'm a Is that, that what's way. going on outside? I, I don't know. That's, I'll be at the house. Tony, I'm, I'm, no. <laughs> Don't look at me. Is that what's going? Look what's across going the room. I think iconic be into I'm that shit. Iconic, <laughs> <laughs> like yo, I'm about to cut this edit up so crazy. <laughs> <laughs> that nah, that's a fact though. But look, I got another question for y'all uh -oh. real quick though. Here it man. is. You know what I'm saying? So I know we we've been talking about relationships and shit heavy. Mm -hmm. So say it's your girlfriend or your boyfriend for the anonymous mic, right? And a tragedy happens and they become paralyzed. <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> you, uh, you Where does he come up with this shit from? Your man, right? Tony, your man right? Tony will be going what? on fast what? breaks <laughs> every time. Hey, hey, so say your girlfriend got <laughs> one nah, leg you know and one arm. Hey, I'm a creative, bro. And it's only yeah. on the on, she yeah. only got the right side of her left. Let me finish the question though. <laughs> Let me finish the question. So, what would you do with the right? Say side? your your significant other, your boyfriend or girlfriend, becomes paralyzed. Yeah, from the neck down. <laughs> Are you staying with them? Yeah, I would stay as far as like you know taking care. All right. You, you're the, on the anonymous mic. Remember, the, you can be anonymous the, okay. and answer this question <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. truthfully. Truthfully. Okay, so like the depth of our relationship, like that's my man. Boyfriend. He's been my man. You're not married. He's it's just your boyfriend. But he took care of like he was money maker, taking care of us, yeah. doing everything. Mm -hmm. Right? Then How something much was happened. The settlement? I'ma still be with him, but I need him to understand, like, okay, this is this every all right, so I know it some don't people, work. It don't work. It don't work. work. So then it's like I'm gonna say for it. I'm gonna say for it. Speaking of that, I'm gonna I'm 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 fuck with her, but I'm gonna fuck off. Yeah, but that's uh, okay. but right. but that's just like human nature. That's like if yeah. a nigga get locked up for life and you got a girl. You know she gonna be fucking off while life you in jail. Crazy. Like, all right, not even life. life. Well, <laughs> he's paralyzed for life. Yeah, yeah, it ain't yeah, no yeah, coming. Yeah. It ain't no coming life back. In jail in number twenty five years though. So say you in jail for life because you can't fuck me again, right? <laughs> what? Come on, let's be realistic. You think scenario. I ain't gonna? Yeah, that's not even yeah. fair for you to ask for me to be like. I don't ever want you to sleep with nobody. That's crazy to me. Like, yeah, that's fucked like, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like me, I'll if I like, was paralyzed and I could never give my nigga like, pussy again, yeah. I would never be am like, I still pay, oh, am I still paying don't the fuck nobody. That's crazy. Wait, wait. Yeah. How, how much was my settlement? We're all human. Like, at the end of the day. <laughs> how, much, how, much, how, much, how much? Am I paying all would the you, bills would, still? Would you feel like that? If I, wait, so if... That's wild. God bless us for that. <laughs> not, not, never happening. Yeah, Pretty yeah, yeah. For sure. But we still gotta add like, context. We still yeah, gotta I add the context. Did I get shot fucking with you? <laughs> like, like what and happened? I got paralyzed. How did she, what? Like how, you know what I'm saying? Like get, like add the was context it, to it. Was, was it stupid? Did she go skydiving for no yeah, like, what is, like, like what did she do? That shouldn't matter. I don't think it matters. What if she was hundred percent loyal to you and she got into a car accident on her way to pick you up? Like. I'm saying, it still yeah, don't that's cool. But if you got in a car accident on the way to cheating on me, okay. But let's say she was on her way to pick you up. She ain't do I'm nothing. Saying we got, we got, a, we got a family together. We rocking yeah, out, yeah, yeah. man. We rocking out. So you ain't yeah, never gonna out. have sex with nobody else. We rocking out. I mean, here, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, let me you answer that. Let me, let me answer that. Let me answer that. Come on, it's, 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 it's all over the place. Did you hear me say? Um, niggas what cheat for less. Here's what, here's what we, here, here's what we about to do. Out. That's my baby. Here, here's what we about to do. That's a lie. Here, here's what we about to do. That's my little veggie tail. I'm Clark Kent. Let's just fucking use that. We gonna have to go get the shot. Something gonna have to work on my body at some point. One, two. No, I mean, you know, niggas out here be getting shots to get their dick up. Oh, jeez. Oh, Lord, have mercy. You know how that this is what they doing. I'm just, I'm just telling you. So, I would expect my woman to hold me down 
because that's the type of woman that I deal with. Facts. Now, when I say add context to it, did I get paralyzed by fucking jumping in front of a bullet for you? Because of your mouth? No, nah, but he's saying, or, what, if, what if your woman was it paralyzed? It don't even matter. No, he's saying, saying, he's saying don't I, matter, bro. No, but you're saying just, vice versa. <laughs> it don't matter, man or women, right? No, but I'm saying, like, no, if, no, no. If, if your woman got paralyzed, are you staying with her? Oh, hell, yeah, some good pussy. That pussy, that, pussy, that pussy on me. I'm gonna hit that pussy. Hey, look. I'm staying with that pussy. Hey. And we getting this money from uh uh Prudential. Yeah. Them insurance companies, nigga. We're gonna get that money. We're gonna get the van with the machine that lift your ass up. We're going to the club together. Hey, 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 yo. You got your credit hey, card. Look. I'm authorized user. We in that bitch. We partying. Hey, look. Hey, look. Period. Wait, you can't have sex with her, so. Are you gonna have sex with somebody? Oh, I else? can't. Why you're can't saying? you? I mean, God, okay, man. but when we put it on the other way around, why can't I? The male's body parts wasn't working, so yeah, we have wow. to re- reverse it the same way. Hold on, hey, look, hold on, hold on, hold on. We not about to so skip past that. that. All right, all right. <laughs> she is paralyzed to the neck down. Are you talking about some? <laughs> why can't I? <laughs> I'm saying like what well, that boy is crazy. What you is mean? a wild boy. That's my girl. It's gonna be it's it's come on. Hey, hey, hey. She wants it too. What are you talking about? We that hey. Skip past that. Like, come on, my boy. Yeah. No, but she can't feel hey. nothing. She's oh doing this from God. me. Oh, 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 oh my like, God. Let's say it don't. It can't get wet. <laughs> like, it can't get wet. It's it don't oh, work. Oh man. Down there, don't work. Oh, well, look. It's over. Well, look, man, we gonna <laughs> we gonna end on that <laughs> though, man. Let's, let's get up out of here. We, we appreciate y'all. We gotta go to the third quarter. For we gotta go to the third quarter. That's how we gonna get up out of here with that one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, man. We gonna get one more. One yeah, more yeah, part yeah, for yeah. For sure, man. We gonna do a part three. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right said, back. What? We need a break. We need a break. What? So. <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> I like, yeah. I like oh, the yeah, energy. yeah, yeah. All right. No, I like the so energy. We back, we back, we back, we back, man. That's how you come in. That's how you come in aggressive. Yeah, facts, facts. I like that. She All right, ready anonymous, to go. Mike, go ahead. You got a question for us? We back, man, for the third half. Let's go, live and loud. Yeah. All right, so how y'all feel about polygamy? Like, would you be? Well, yeah, would you be in a poly relationship or that's too far out? <clears throat> All right, so I, I get it rocking. I get Yo, it rocking. Go ahead, go ahead. Um, I think in order for that to really work, I need backup. And when I say I need backup, I need to be based in religion. Because in order for it to get like a woman to really work with another woman, I'm not going to be perfect, like my man Will was saying. I, I need it to be based in something that gives them like a structure in which that really enables this to work together. I don't think that relationship works in which like a guy has one girl and then that relationship is rocky and he feel like he needs more woman and then goes out there and gets another woman and they try to make it work in terms of like bringing another woman into the relationship. I think in order for a polygamous relationship to really work, it needs to be based in Something that that has that structure to it, like a religion, like my Muslim brothers, like how they hold it down in terms of that's the structure that the relationship is already understood. Because with the mindset of the Western woman, there's no way that that structure is ever going to work. So wait, let me understand what you're saying. Mm -hmm. You would have to go into the relationship saying we're going to date other people or we're going to have somebody else in this relationship. A thousand percent. Because a woman, a woman can't restructure her brain mm-hmm. once we've already established something. Like I always say, like it, once you go to a certain level with a girl, like once a, once she's your girlfriend, you mm-hmm. can't demote her. Mm-hmm. Like she already has that established in her brain. So that therefore, like when we go into a relationship, it must already be established that we're coming into this with the thought process of you need collaborative effort, you know, help to work together in order to really establish a village. Like we need to be working on to build something that has already been, you know, established and, and has shown a success record as well. Like I feel like if I have my fathers and my forefathers to stand on in terms of like, nah, like look, look how this has worked out for everybody else then you have a basis in which to stand on. But if you're coming to it with the modern woman in terms of like, she's independent and she can go make her own, it's just nothing to stand on. You just have a non-collaborative <laughs> effort going on across the board. 
Okay. So let me ask the question though, right? So with polygamy, does that mean that only the man has multiple wives, or does that mean? Oh, my bad. That's everyone, just how I took it. <laughs> everyone I, I, in the relationship is that so no? other I've, people. I've seen it. I've speak. I've spoke to people on different levels. Mm-hmm. Um, I spoke to somebody that practiced it, and he had multiple women, and his wife had a girlfriend and a boyfriend. And oh yeah, see nah, I'm not cool with, with that. that. And that's what I thought and about. He it. said that was his longest, most successful relationship. Yeah, yeah. See, that's why, like, I wanted to clarify because I kind of had that understanding that, like, I feel like a lot of men get it confused and feel like it's just the man having mm-hmm. a bunch of girlfriends. But no, it's literally like you have a bunch of girlfriends and your girlfriends has a bunch of other boyfriends. Too much going on. <laughs> like, too much I mean, going on. I mean, <laughs> well, here's, here's my thought. Shout out to Dr. Umar. Because he did it. He does it. Hit the cash app. You feel me? <laughs> FDMG. Um, Academy. Y'all, y'all doing it now. Y'all just don't know it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Y'all doing it now. Mm-hmm. Y'all just don't know it. That's the culture. Y'all just not living together. Oof. Yep. You know? Yeah. <laughs> and it's hidden. Yep. It's hidden. Because they don't know a, about each other. It's a matter of. They don't know mm, about each other. You know no, it's a fact because it's a, it's a matter of are you going to know about it? It's a bullshit. Are you going to know about it? It's a bullshit. Or are you going to be open it, about it? Honestly. It, yeah. it's, it's, see, here's the thing. Here's the thing. A man, and, and I can give you this from being a man, and I think all men in here can agree to this. We. If we have sex with another woman, we don't look at it as cheating. Women do. A woman <laughs> stepping out on her man, dealing with somebody else, we consider it cheating. Men look at women and men look at cheating from a man's perspective as this. Am I spending my money on her? Resources. Am I buying her Gucci bag, Gucci shoes, her mess? Am I spending my hard earned <laughs> resources? Because a man doesn't look, a man doesn't, a man sleeps with a woman he doesn't like and comes home. <laughs> you can't as a woman. Oh, shit. <laughs> you gotta like that. Who nigga? says you can't though? There's women out here that. Absolutely not. Uh, a woman yeah, is not gonna trying. lay on her back to sleep with a man she doesn't respect. They're trying to be wired differently. They're you trying can't. to be men. You and can y'all chase can't pull the culture, but the only thing that's gonna end up happening to you is you're gonna get it, you're gonna get pregnant. You're gonna lose the game. Yeah. Lose the game. When you wanna play the game with a man, the only thing that ends up happening with us is whatever. You get pregnant. Mm-hmm. And uh much Mama's baby, break. Papa's maybe type thing, right? Mm-hmm. And we've seen this situation, and actually there's a statistic that's out there. 33% of married men and women, 33% of marriages, the kid's not the husband. They don't even know it. That's one out of three. That's Wait, what? crazy. Thank you. Pull up the statistic. <laughs> that's crazy. Pull up the wow. statistic. So you're trying so to say women are cheating? I'm glad my women baby cheat got my nose. just as much, and if not more than men, because oh there's God. more of you than us. <laughs> oh my so now, when you want to deal with your homegirl, you deal with your homegirl. But y'all don't bring it up around the men. Ooh, them girl when trips. you want to bring it up, yeah, when you yeah, want to yeah, deal yeah. with another man, you can deal with another man. See, you have options, but the goal is this: the goal is not to get fucked when you walk out the door. Mm-hmm. That's really the game. <laughs> <laughs> Say it again for the people in the back. You understand? Like, uh, 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 men, young men, men just in general, kings, and we all have daughters. The first thing we teach our daughter is how not to get fucked. Facts. That's what makes you the prize. You understand what I'm saying? So when you step outside, every man is going to want to sleep with you. Mm -hmm. Hell, you could be in a wheelchair. He going to sleep with you. Jamie Foxx said it best on his special. Yeah. Oh, this is portopedic, Jamie. I've never done nothing like this. This is my <laughs> first time. Ooh, I like it, right? Women, w- women. it don't matter who you are because we talked about it earlier. New pussy is new pussy to a man that never had it. That somebody as horny as you are ugly. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So anybody, <laughs> it's, it, 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 for, you, for you as a woman... To not lay down and get smashed by a dude, a stranger, ball player, or whoever, <laughs> that's your power. Yeah. And when you give your power away, mm-hmm. when you're giving or sharing yourself to multiple men, you're ultimately taking in the souls of the people he's conquered. Mm-hmm. You don't have nothing to give the next man 
when you share and extend yourself to multiple men, that's why even though Britney Grinder, even if she's being on Britney Renner, even if she's being honest about the amount of men she slept with, and we know a bunch of women who've done triple that. I was about to right? say, I don't know about that. But, 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 but <laughs> what I'm saying is this. <laughs> but, I'm, but what I'm saying is this. 80% of the world, 80% of the world's problems, the entire planet's problems would go away if women had the amount of men they slept with on their forehead when they approached a man. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Hey, man. It prevents wars. It will prevent <laughs> shootouts, yeah. robberies. Run that. All right, so yeah, yeah. you was in a that should, Holly, be like, that should be like a so, car fact. <laughs> for real, for so real. You be like oh, eight hundred? Nope. Yeah, eight hundred. Four hundred? Nope. Ah, so I'm gonna go ahead and guess that. Oh, look you at Miss Two a, over there. If you was in a poly, a polygamous relationship. You would not be okay with your woman having another boyfriend. Oh, no. But what if that was her only I'm boyfriend? Like, 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 what if it wasn't multiple? Yeah, what if it was like you I'm had, sorry. say, you had a girlfriend, you had your wife, and she had, y'all shared the same girl, and she had a boyfriend. That's not how God designed women to operate. <laughs> I operate on God I time. I operate on God time. Out. I go, none of the disciples were, none of the disciples, all the disciples had hoes. <laughs> ain't no nigga in the Bible ain't just uh, had one. Give yes, me one person certainly. in the scripture that ain't had one. one. Here we go. How'd you say yeah, that? Yeah, give me, yeah, give me go. one. All give me disciples. one person. Hey. Give me and one person in the Bible oh, that did not have multiple women. Okay. You can't. What I'm saying to you is, it's not Even in your Jesus nature there, as a woman to <laughs> want to <laughs> lay down with multiple men and take on that energy. It is just not in your nature. God did not create you. To be that way. So you don't feel like with you having multiple women, you might lack with your wife? Not at all. I can't go against what God's will is. Oh, wow. I'm not oh, going to challenge did. that. <laughs> I'm telling you how he created you as a woman. He created you to pour into man, mm -hmm. to be a helpmate to man, not, not to be with multiple men at the same time saying that you have a husband and you got two or three other dudes that's doing other things yeah for two you. or three is kind of crazy but yeah or, or no, even another one even 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 one other because i mean mm -hmm. look if i mean beta may do it i mean they do it all day long i guess but an alpha man i'm not jacking it mm -hmm. what i'm saying to you is if you land down with me i expect you to lay down with me and me only because i have to also provide protect preach and have provision Throughout my foundation. And overall, we got to know whose babies that is. True. No, like we, that's a yeah. fact. We know, we know it's your fact. baby. Yeah. Because it came out. How do you? Yeah, but y'all know who the father is. Like, yeah. So it goes exactly. back to a time in which that we couldn't test that. We don't right. know that. Like, we gen Cause we gotta we gotta split this up. I mean, it makes no, sense. Sure. I just feel like in our generation, well, I gotta, a it lot used of to be law, aren't. though. You know, it used to be law. You know, and you remember back in the day, we always used to go to church. Who The young girl who came into church and she was pregnant, everybody used to slide over the bench, leave her over there by herself. <laughs> hold on. Bring, we need to bring back Shane. You, 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 we, yeah. we yeah, might yeah, need yeah. to bring back Shane. Hey, look, hey, look. Yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. And hold even up, girls. Hold up, hold across hold up, hold up, the board, though. Across hold up, the board. Hold up. I'm about to switch it up real quick. What's right? up? I feel like a lot of people can't even handle Polygamous relationships yeah. yes. mm, comes I with agree. a level of you know honesty. What I'm saying? I agree. Mm. Yeah. Like I agree because man, <laughs> you gotta be direct. You be yeah. Yeah. you gotta you gotta stand on your one two. You gotta be women, but you be in these right. you be in these exactly. whole relationships as men, exactly. and I know every man in here can relate. A woman, you'll smash a girl the first time you meet her, and she want husband treatment right away. She wants you to cover the bills, protect her. Provide for her, preach to her. It's a lot. It's a lot. You want, you want traditional treatment with modern day mm -hmm. experiences. Oh, for sure. You want a man to do what we've done for the last 100, 200 years here. For sure. Mm -hmm. But you want to do modern day feminist things for sure and i all and all i'm saying is it's good it's good what's good for the goose good for the gander i'm not against that i'm just saying that equal right equal fight my yeah, bitches now they gotta have money too mm -hmm. 
So if you come into the table and you say, I got to have everything together, well, guess you what? To you got to have everything together. <laughs> Which, uh, now, uh, yeah. now yeah. if I'm on the mattress and you on the mattress, that's another conversation. Mm -hmm. We can build off that because that's real to me because that's what builds loyalty. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You dealing with a man who's already got it and you're coming to the table, even mm -hmm. if you got it, does not build loyalty. He mm -hmm. owes you no loyalty. Yep. Remember, the game is fucked up. Loyalty is earned. Mm-hmm. Trust is earned. I don't just mm -hmm. give you that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Most people expect it coming mm -hmm. in. You know, so about dealing with multiple people, the game is fucked up. Everybody dealing with each other. I know most of ball players, football players, fucking the same girls. Yeah. Everybody fucking the same people. <laughs> I know the mailman fucking the ball player bitches too. Yeah. So yeah. where do we separate oh, it? God. How do we separate y'all? Y'all too close to each other. Yeah, yeah. How do yeah, I know yeah. the good girl from the girl that's not good? Because y'all yeah. too close. Y'all yeah. hanging together yeah. and shit I now. was just about to say, everybody hang out. There yeah, you yeah, go. Yeah, yeah, right, right, everybody right, hang right. out. Everybody you can't tell. Giving each other advice. I mean, giving each other I'm advice. And single women keep women <laughs> yeah. single. Yeah. One. Two, misery loves company. Yeah. yeah. Three, yeah. look. <laughs> You hang around three broke motherfuckers, you, you like to be the, the fourth. fourth. Yep. And at the end of the yeah, day, yeah, yeah. Yep. we got to get smart. What we doing? Either we going to build with our sisters or we going to build with another group and we going to make them stronger and better because statistically <laughs> we're the best men on the planet. And it's not from yeah. me. That's from Harvard, MIT, giving you this data. Yeah. yeah. And you start traveling, you start like seeing it, out there. Just but that's why it's just like important it. to have like some type of foundation with your partner because I feel like if y'all could talk, communication, you know, understand each other, there's no reason for you to step out and get advice from anybody. Well, see, the problem is feelings. A woman feels bad. She feels this. She's not happy. But God never said nothing about happiness. He said for sickness and health. Yeah. So it. happiness yeah. don't got nothing to do. With me, that's, with that's you, it, that's man. self. Okay. But that goes both grandma, ways. Grandma that goes that. both ways because men they might stay in situations that they not happy in, but they they might stay. But they are they present? Are they still doing the same things that they were doing when they weren't happy? M no, women, I, not, women, women. Seventy to eighty percent of divorces are engaged by women. Yeah, because men don't leave. You got men, men will don't cheat leave before because, they leave. Well, They're not leaving. Men don't leave because when a man gives you himself truly, he's all in. A yeah. woman can step Mean out, that. and guess what? She's all. He's all in. Guess What's what? the guess definition what, of all hold in? Because you on, might be on. all in, but you're not present. <laughs> hey, like, look. He was saying she's different. different. Hey, look. I we gonna, we gonna do it like this. We gonna do it like this. We gotta bring Will right. back for another five. Tune man. in to the Patreon, <laughs> man. You know what I'm saying? We gotta start the Patreon. <laughs> yeah, this all yeah this, bro. for sure, for sure, man. We appreciate y'all for tuning in. Yes, sir. Hey, we appreciate you, Will, for pulling up. You know what I'm saying? Yo, man, it's, it's a, love. it's a, it's an yeah. honor. It's an honor. Y'all are good men. Yeah, y'all are good sure, men, sure, man. man. And I really appreciate and respect y'all. Sure. Respect what y'all are doing. And uh, look forward to that Billionaire's Road partnership, man. Y'all yeah, go. Sure. drinking gonna, Billionaire's Road Yak coming we, up soon. We're going to be doing that. You know what I'm saying? You know, yeah. I'm, 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 yeah. I'm new here in these streets over here, so I'm just getting to know the, the current culture and what they got going on over here. But I really respect what y'all are doing, man. And uh, anytime y'all boys need me on here, bro, you got me. Oh, appreciate yeah. that, bro. That's love. You know what I'm saying? We appreciate the anonymous number two, Mike. Yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah. I might come yeah, back. Yeah, yeah. Little <laughs> you might, you might we come got, back. We got to finish hey, a couple yeah, yeah, things yeah. around here. For sure, man. So keep doing what y'all doing, man. Yes, like sir. and comment, subscribe, and sharing the videos. You know what I'm saying? It's love, man. Peace. Let's go.